So what's gonna happen in the real estate market over the next few years? That's a big question that I receive. I'm a local real estate broker here in Florida and I can tell you that's a question we hear over and over and over. So are short sales and foreclosures gonna come back in a big way? I don't know, time's gonna tell. What's up everybody, Steve with Steve Invest, helping people grow their wealth, helping real estate agents, real estate investors, and anybody who wants to learn more about financial independence. So I've been saying to our real estate agents, you guys need to prepare for short sales. Some agree with me and others disagree. Others say, ah, the market's fine. But I gotta bring this up. I can tell you, even if we are in a flattening market, let's say the market doesn't dip down, but you know, the last 10 years we've been going strong and pretty much throughout the United States has been increasing in value pretty steadily over the last 10 years. So what if we just go into a flat market? Let's take that for an example. So I'm gonna run some numbers with you to kind of give you an idea why real estate agents do need to learn the process of short sales in order to help people avoid foreclosure. So let's dive into it. Now I know a lot of people bought real estate with an FHA loan and FHA loan you can usually get in with 3.5% down. Well, unfortunately, if that person bought, say, a year or two years ago and our market flattened out, unfortunately, they might have to come to the table with a check in order to have a successful transaction. So let's look at simple numbers, simple math. Let's say somebody bought a house for $275,000 used an FHA loan at 3.5%, they would have financed uh, $266,000. Now, if they sold that property for exactly what they paid for it, we're gonna look at the math right now to see if they would have to come to the table with a check or not. So, they sold at 275, the payoff after 20 months, the principal did uh, go down to 258,000. Um, commission, $16,500. Doc stamps, which is the Florida State uh, doc stamps, it's 70 cents for every $100. That's uh, 1925 And title related closing costs estimated about $1,800. In this scenario, they would be uh, a negative amount. They would have to come to the table at $3,225. Now, unfortunately, a lot of people are paycheck to paycheck. And what if they had uh, a death in the family or they got ill or they lost a job, they really wouldn't have necessarily the funds to come to the table at $3,225. And in some cases, if they did have you know, a, a distressed situation where they were not making mortgage payments, it's even worse. Most likely they would not have that money. And you gotta take in consideration that um, every, every mortgage payment that's passed, a lot of times the banks are gonna tack on all these fees associated as well. So that number would increase. Now what if this sold for actually less than what they paid for it? Let's say it sold for 265,000. That means roughly they're gonna have to come to the table with $13,225 in order to successfully transact and close this property out. Now some of the alternatives is they could potentially put the property out there as a for sale by owner and save the commissions. That would be about $16,500. Another option is let's say they had to relocate or they had to move out of the property that they just couldn't afford it. Maybe they could lease the property out and hopefully it'd be a break even position or maybe even make a little bit of money. Maybe they could get some sort of forbearance from the bank, especially if they've stopped making mortgage payments where the bank would alleviate and allow them not to make payment for a certain amount of months just to get caught up. Or maybe they try to negotiate the loan in a loan modification of some sort where they either do like a principal reduction, try to get the interest rate down, or maybe even the bank agrees to a longer amortization schedule. And unfortunately, if all these other alternatives are not a possibility, then the only other option if they're not making payment is the bank is going to unfortunately foreclose on them. However, there is an alternative and it is short sales. This is why I do preach this. That's why I do preach this on this channel for real estate agents to understand that if they do learn the process of doing a short sale, they can really grow their businesses, but they can help a lot of people avoid foreclosure. And understand many of these banks are willing to work with borrowers. It does save the banks money if they do the short sale over a foreclosure. And in many cases, they're even gonna waive the deficiency judgment against the borrower. Now, if you guys do wanna learn the process about how to list and successfully sell short sales, check out this next video I got coming up and I appreciate the support. Thanks.